Good morning folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's well, hope everybody's happy. So I'm currently in the process of revamping the rear of this property. There are two previous videos in which I chop down a couple of bushes and dig up the stumps. This took a couple of afternoons, so basically a day's work, um, a relaxing day's work, I would hasten to add. So today we're gonna to be measuring out this area so I can actually sketch out my thoughts, get them on a bit of paper and uh, you know work out what I'm going to do and also I'm going to be digging holes and I've already made a start of that in order that I can actually put in some fence posts. Now a bit of a tip here if you're ever doing anything concerning your boundaries erecting new fences that sort of thing always make sure you get some photographic evidence of the current boundaries and that's what I say photographic or video evidence because if there's a problem with your neighbours a little bit further down the line this could say maybe thousands of pounds in unnecessary litigation. So anyway, like I say, we've already made a start um, digging these post holes. I'm basically just digging up the soil, sticking it in some rubble bags, and I'm actually using a trolley, which you may recognize from previous video. Um, basically, I found some MDF in the property. I bought some casters from either Lidl or Aldi. Cost about five or four of them, just stuck them to, you know, screwed them to the bottom of this, bottom of this um, MDF board, made myself a little trolley, and it is actually easy to use in a wheelbarrow, believe it or not. But anyway, you may notice that the spade I'm using has a very long handle. And the reason is twofold. For a start, I'm six foot four, so constantly bending down um, wrecks my back. So a long handle spade um, basically saves my back and makes it a lot easier to do this sort of work. And secondly, because it has such a long handle, it also negates the need for me to buy post hole digger. Um, so, you know, there's no point in spending extra money if an existing tool will cover the job. Now, I was very fortunate because apart from a very sort of thin layer of gravel in this area on the soil, the soil was basically just stony. It's quite a heavy clay actually, but you know, it's, I'd rather have to deal with this than existing or previous concrete footings, which are a right pig to get up. Now, if I had have actually encountered any concrete footings, I'd have broken these up using my powerful SDS drill with a chisel bit in the end. But fortunately, as I say, this wasn't necessary. Now, there's only so much video footage you can take of somebody digging a hole before it gets repetitive and very boring. So I thought I'd continue anyway, and because uh, I know how therapeutic it is watching other people graft when you're just sitting there, you know, just enjoying uh, the scenery, watching them do all the hard work. So anyway, basically, you know, hope you're enjoying a nice copper and enjoying this video. Now, the depth of the holes, I'm looking for about two feet, which is about 600 millimeters or 60 centimeters. The posts I'll be using are gonna be concrete, about 2.4 meters, which is eight foot. And um, I will probably be making my own fences using decking boards, which I'll cut to size. Now, you'll probably notice that I'm getting as close as I possibly can to the boundary edges. Basically, I'm not prepared to give up one single inch of my precious piece of English soil. Anyway, look, I'm conscious of the fact that I'm gassing away now, so I'm just going to leave you to watch the video. So if you want to put the kettle on, have a nice cup of get yourself a packet of biscuits and a piece of cake. Don't worry about the calories, I'll burn them off for you. <laughs> Now it was actually the three days in which I was actually doing this work, two days rather, the average temperature is about 26, 27 degrees. So it's actually quite hard graft. So as you can see, you know, the holes at quite a nice depth now. So we're certainly getting there, but we've got a little way to go. Thank you. 
Okay, so how are we doing then? Yeah, that's good enough for me. We're virtually at 600 millimeters, two foot. So before I left um, the property that afternoon, I decided to cover up those holes with some of these slabs, just in case somebody walking by decided to fall down one, break the leg and uh, decided to sue me. And you might be thinking, well, you know, why should that be an issue? It's on your property. Unfortunately, in legal terms, these things are never straightforward. And it's just not worth taking the risk, basically. So in the next video, then, I'll be installing the posts. Thank you for watching.